Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this elegant bracelet with seed beads and bicons. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell, also liking and sharing this video. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. You could also check description for useful resources, a full list of materials and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy and so excited to see them. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in these videos and the membership perks are shared in the link in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now we're going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads, silver, red and black. I'm also using here four millimeter bicons in black color. This is toggle clasp and two small jump rings. You could use other clasp of your choice. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work. And now I'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle, which is 90 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to pick up 6 red and 6 black beads alternating them, so I have 12 beads in total. Okay, pick those up and now I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by make a loop and go with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made, then I pull and I will make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I have this beautiful circle of beads here guys and I want to go through some beads in this direction and I want to exit out of a red bead. Then I take three red beads and I don't go through the black one, but I go through the red after that. Okay, and I pull. Take three red beads, skip the black one that's on my way and go through the following. Three again, repeat the same thing, three, and I'm going to continue this two more times until the end. And at my last step I go through this bit that I started the whole row from. Okay, now I have this. In my next step I want to go out of this bit that is sticking out the most, the middle of the tree I added. Three silver beads and go again to the one, through the one that is sticking out. Again the same thing, three and go through the bead that is sticking out and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this and in my next row guys, I want to go through one of those three silver beads that I added before through the first one and I take three beads, I go through this silver, through the third silver and then 
through the red and through the following silver. So here you see I went through the first silver and then through the third and now again I'm exiting through the first take three again and go just like this skip one and go through three after that silver red silver and until the end of this row guys I'm going to repeat absolutely the same thing Okay, after I finish this row, I'm exiting here one silver bit after this middle here and I'm one silver bit away from this red one. And I take one four millimeter bicon and go here in the same place, one silver bit away from the red in the center. Then go through these two. one bicon and go in the second silver counting from the center go here through two repeat And this is what I do until the end, of course. In my next row, guys, what I want to do is exit through one of those beautiful bicons. Then I take five of these silver beads, okay, five of them, and as I'm exiting from one of the bicons, I go through the other one. Five silvers again. And again, go in the next bicon. Five. Go here. And repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and here are the last five beads that I'm added here in this row. And now I want to do an additional step. Here I will make a new thread pad by going through two of those five. Then I skip the central one of them and I go through the next two. And after that you could go through the bicon as well. Okay, and I pull and you see when I pull and push this central bit, I have this beautiful angle here. Then I will show you again, go through two, skip this middle bit here and go through the following two and through the angle and I pull. I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, go through two, skip the central one 
and go through the next two and through the bicon. And when I pull, I have an angle. Okay, and I will continue this three more times and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I just finished the thread pad that I told you. And now what I want to do is to make another element like this one, but I would like to inverse the colors. Okay, and here it is the next element. If you don't know how to do this, just rewind the video and repeat these steps. But when I say silver, you take red. When I say red, you take silver and you will be good to go. You will have this element. If you don't want to inverse the colors and do your bracelet only with this color pattern, the first one I showed you, it is okay. It will still work. Okay, so now I will show you how I'm starting my bracelet and how I will connect them. First, what I need to do is to go here through some beads I want to exit through this first silver bead after my bicon. And I'm going to take here six black beads that I'm going to use to attach my clasp later too. Okay, so I take those six and I go backwards through this silver and through the bicon. And again through this silver that I'm exiting out of. So I go back in circle through all of those beads, okay? And I have this here. Then I will go one more time through all of those beads and reinforce this joint here. Okay, and now what comes is to find the place to make a knot and cut this tail thread that I have here. How I do this? I go here at one of the angles and I make here a loop. I go once, I go second time through the loop I've made, I pull, then I go in this direction through the upcoming beads and I cut my thread. This is what I have and now I'm gonna be taking the next element of my bracelet and I will move my needle on this tail thread here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just moved my needle here at uh, the end of this element. And now you see I'm exiting out of this red bead that is sticking out, the central one of the five that I added in my last step. And I'm taking one black bead, just one, and I want to go here through this silver. Then again, I will take another black and I'm going in the same red again, back in circle. And you see what I have here, a loop. And when I pull, I have this. And what is my goal, guys? I want to connect here these two points with these two points. These are the opposite points of where my clasp would be here. Don't make the mistake to attach it here. Attach it here. Okay. Now what I want to do is to go one more time around this newly added joint. And through the following beads. And what I want to do is to reach the next angle here, the next bit that is sticking out. Okay, I'm here. 
take one black bead and go in the silver angle. One more black and go backwards in the red angle. Okay. And then I'm going to reinforce. Okay, then I want to go through some beads in this direction, make a knot and cut my thread. I make here a loop. I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made. I pull and I go in this direction through some beads. And I cut my tail thread. Okay, this is what I have. Now, what I'm going to do is to make another element like this without cutting my thread and attach it here absolutely the same way that I showed you. Then I will continue adding more and more elements until I have the desired length. For me, this length is six of those beautiful elements but you might want to need seven or eight depending on the risk you're making it for you could always put an extension chain as well now i will do uh, four more elements the same way and i'll be back okay guys and as i connected all of those elements adding them one by one the same way i showed you i have my last final sixth one and I just connected here this joint and now what I want to do is to exit through all of those bits through the other side of my element and do this loop of six bits that I did before. Okay, now I'm exiting out after this red bead here, one bead away from the bicon, and I'm taking here six black beads. And what I do is that I go backwards through all of those beads. just like this and I will go one more time through them Then again, I'm going here at the angle and I want to make a knot and cut my thread. I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And I go through the next bicon. Okay, guys, and now this is what I have. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is almost ready. I just need to put the clasp. And how I do this, I take first this jump ring that I have here. And I want to open this one up. Okay. 
I'm opening this one up and I'm going to put this really small jump ring to my work. Okay, I did it. Now I'm going to take my clasp and I will put it here. Okay. And I'm going to close it. in the same direction as I opened it. I'm doing it with a small jump ring in order to look better, but it's a little bit difficult. If it's difficult for you, you could use larger jump rings. Okay. Then off camera, I will repeat this action from here and I'll be back Okay guys, and now my elegant seed beads and Bicons bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. In this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often. Please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description as well or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.